Each member manages their own asset allocation, but a large part of it comes out of our monthly meetings when they're learning from one another what they're doing. And then you just aggregate the data. And we aggregate the data. I see. And the headline is you've been adding to, they've been added to cash positions yes. here. Why? So first of all, it's 10% two years ago, 12% today. So although it's two points out of a portfolio, it's still a 20% increase. Uh, the biggest reason is they've taken a lot of chips and real estate off the table. It's come down from 33% to 26% of holdings. Um, it's still our largest allocation, real estate, but there was a lot of opportunities to take some of the easy pickings off the table and build cash for a future opportunity. And why the hesitance to stay in real estate? What are they worried about? I don't think there's a hesitance. It's still our number one allocation, okay. 26%. But some of the markets got frothy, um, and obviously you have a lot of different markets within real estate. Retail, disaster, uh, but workforce housing, strong, a lot of uh, those kind of activities. And you have the gateway cities, which are quite strong. Interesting stock picks in here. There's clearly an appetite for cannabis stocks. You've got Canopy and Constellation. Uh, Berkshire, Blackstone in the mix, and also Zoom, the recent IPO, it, correct, which has done quite well? Is there a yes. theme there? Well, the theme is in cannabis, uh, what attracts our members is this is the first new product that has a built-in $50 billion demand. So our members play at private equity, public equity, real estate. They own the land that our growers are using. They own the factories. They l lend money against it, and they play the stock. So that's, that covers all of the bases if you're interested in this new market. Berkshire, on the other hand, I was just part of a Tiger delegation to the Berkshire annual meeting. <clears throat> we had a couple dozen members there from all over the world. What they really came away with is Berkshire is sitting with over $100 billion in, in cash. And Buffett was very clear that if the price falls, they're going to be buyers of their own stock. There are not a lot of corporations that have the ability to put a floor on the price of their stock, so you have an asymmetric benefit to the upside. Uh, and that was particularly attractive. Zoom, on the other hand, uh, what was interesting with Zoom is we're a user of Zoom. We're a global organization. That's our the video groups meet at video software. conferencing. One of our new members was able, through our network, to contact one of the other members who were involved with the IPO, get in on the ground floor, and yes, it was probably the most successful <laughs> IPO in recent days. And lastly, with Blackstone, um, our members are 25, 26 percent in private equity. Blackstone is primarily private equity. What they love about that is the hidden value of the private equity coming down the pike in Blackstone stock. Before we let you go, what's the consensus of the membership about what's happening between the U.S. and China and the trade talks? I think uh, it's tough medicine, but most of our members would say the Chinese have been unfair competitors. Of all of the things, we have a lot of Democrats, Republicans. The one thing that most members seem to agree on is this problem needs to be dealt with, and they give the uh, administration high marks for that.